The question for this week is, what is off-label use? Well, off-label use is when a drug is used outside of the label that has been approved by the FDA. For example, Revlimid was approved for use in patients with relapse myeloma. Frequently these days, Revlimid is used in other situations, uh, for example, for frontline uh, treatment, uh, patients who've been newly diagnosed. This would be considered off-label use because the FDA has not reviewed and given its final approval for use in this setting. So how should a patient look at these types of off-label use? The main point for a patient to be aware of is that there must have been trials that have shown the safety and the benefit of, for example, Revlimid in the frontline setting if the doctor is going to recommend it and if you would agree to go ahead with that. As it turns out, uh, this is the case. There have been quite a number of studies using Revlimid as a frontline option and so it is okay uh, because we do have those studies and we are anticipating that at some point, uh, hopefully soon, the FDA will relook at this and would actually approve this use in that setting. But until such time, it would be considered off-label, and this is something that should be discussed on a case-by-case -case basis by the patient with the doctor. A key point to be aware of is that if the drug is being used off-label, either based on the situation or maybe in a combination or in a dose schedule that was not actually reviewed and approved by the FDA, the insurance company has the option to not necessarily immediately approve the reimbursement for this use. So if there is a question that the use of a drug is truly off-label out of the, the approved FDA schedule or combination, this needs to be discussed and there needs to be an awareness that fortunately uh, insurance companies do frequently approve this use in the US, but they have the option to not do that. And in the current economical environment, uh, we may be seeing a situation where they, they may choose to not reimburse for these types of off-label use. So this is something very important uh, to be aware of.